the engine ran on a closed loop steam cycle. Here is how it worked. Water was heated in two oil-fired water tube boilers located just ahead of the engine. Pressurized heated fuel oil was pumped through fuel lines to four burners on each boiler. At the tip of each burner, the oil was atomized into fine mist to allow better combustion. At the same time, a large blower drew in air from outside the ship and pushed it through a duct beneath the floor, forcing it upward into the base of each boiler. This forced air mixed with the atomized fuel, and the resulting mixture was ignited in the firebox, producing an intense flame. The firebox itself was lined with heat-resistant firebricks to withstand the high temperatures. As combustion gases moved through a controlled path inside the boiler, guided by internal baffles, they traveled upward and out through the uptake, eventually being released through the funnel. Feed water was pumped into the boiler by a feed pump and entered through the steam drum at the top of the boiler. From there, it flowed down into the front header, which distributed it into a series of generating tubes. As the water moved through these tubes, it absorbed heat from the combustion gases and began to turn into steam. The resulting steam water mixture flowed into the rear header, then back into the steam drum, where steam was separated from the remaining water. Saturated steam exited from the top of the steam drum and passed into a set of superheater tubes, positioned directly in the path of the hot exhaust gases. There, the steam was heated even further, becoming superheated steam, which contained more thermal energy.